It's 9 o'clock, it's cold outside, I've been watching some videos, and haven't really gotten out of bed yet. I am, um, I'm not looking forward to this. And a big reason that I'm not looking forward to this is that I'm going to go out in 40 degree rain, and I'm supposed to dress like no metal. This is irritating. Really irritating. So like yoga pants. Okay, I'm supposed to put on yoga pants and go get um stuck in the tube. Let's for the jackhammer for a half hour. I don't wanna have to change. I don't wanna have to change, put on a gown. Gowns are horrible. But this is all happening. Before noon, so I gotta get move on. At least it's not a 30 mile drive this time, it's more like 10. Super slow, but steady progress, so no complaints from me. It's outfit time, and there goes one of my shoes. So, um, this is, this is just straight up genius by my awkward angle here. Um, got my hair pulled back. I don't think I'm gonna keep this on while I'm stuck in the machine. This is actually a thermal undershirt. I wish I'd put a tank top on it under because it's loose around the waist. And, um, then I found out that my thermal... Uh, leggings are way too loose now, so I put a pair of yoga pants on over the thermals. I got um, fluffy socks and Reeboks, so I should be set to stay nice and warm, and I've got my gloves out and a fluffy coat, so I should be alright to getting down there, getting into the building, that sort of thing. And then um, I just have to convince them how to correctly do the needle thing because the last time that I let someone try to convince me that uh, they could do this on my arm, I wound up with a very painful bruise for three and a half weeks and it was awful. Just a quick breakfast, 130 calories for the Atkins strawberry cheesecake bar and about 50 calories in that cup of coffee. It's 1046 and I forgot I actually uh, a couple years ago dropped a decent chunk of change on heavy duty winter gloves that have touch screen ability. Um, the car is cold. I haven't gotten chilly yet but if the heater doesn't kick up pretty soon, yeah it will. So, so far so good on the yoga pants keeping the thermals up. Yay. Uh, doesn't look too bulky and in about half an hour I will be at the place where they can stick me in the tube. I have a mask with no metal on it. I can just ditch my shoes, coat, and purse and be ready to go in the tube. They just gotta stick this needle in my hand first and I've got all my fingers crossed that uh, they don't try to argue with me on how to do that. 11.16, I am one minute late. And my anxiety has got me super nauseous and I should have taken some promethazine to keep me calm during all of this, but uh, oh well, if I can get through this without the promethazine, maybe I can get a beer when I get home, because <sighs> that sure gets out of my system a lot faster. And I now have lint from my pocket inside my mask. Here we go. Okay, I'm done. It's cold out here. I don't like it. Everything went pretty well. She had to uh, try a second time to get the IV into me for the contrast, but um, at least she listened to me and I've got a cotton ball. It's kind of, <laughs> ow, um, here on my hand instead of up here on my arm. But even with the second stick, and she felt awful about that, um, that's far more preferable to 
the way they messed up a year ago, or no, two years, two and a half years, whichever the last time was that they had to contrast me on this stuff, um, when they didn't listen, got me here, and, um, big blackish, purplish, brownish bruise for three weeks that hurt the entire time that I had it. <sighs> Nobody is beating me, okay? I am just a mess. Now, I'm gonna get back on the road, get home, try not to hide your plane anymore today, and just Ugh. Why is it this cold? I specifically live in a warm climate. Shouldn't be this bad. Okay, let the car warm up faster so I can take my gloves off so I can feel the wheel. I grabbed some pictures of stuff inside the changing room. Um, that I found amusing. Like, uh, there's one about hairpins. There's a warning about taking watches off, but then they're like, we don't really care if your shoes are kind of off to the side, even though there's giant metal studs that you loop your laces around. It's like, pick one. I mean, I can't have a penny in my pocket. I can't have a watch on my wrist, but I can have my shoes over there. Why is that? They did have to stick the thing on my head, so... Um, I'm glad that I mostly straightened my hair last night so that um, it didn't get caught in the clamp. And everything should be fine for me to have some booze tonight, but I'm going to Google it up anyway. Just in case she misunderstood and for I forgot to ask her properly or something. Anyway, um, last day of this flipping year and I've had enough so yeah let's get it over with it's 108 I just got home and I was driving past the place on the other side of the block other side of the field from us and they have yet another addition going on to their mobile home and it occurs to me that these folks have got an itty bitty there's no way this thing has got more than two bedrooms. Um, very old house. And they just keep adding on to it. And it's kind of like a cross between the Winchester Mansion and like the vertically stacked trailer park in, um, in Ready Player One. <sighs> Man, I thought it was bad when somebody took, like, a fifth wheel out here on, on the very edge of the neighborhood and essentially built a very ramshackle house around it. But, like, uh, I, I've said it before and I will say it again. If you took the neighborhood from Trailer Park Boys and had the Fear the Walking Dead crew modify that neighborhood... That would be where I live. Okay. Um, clearly, I'm safe and sound inside now. And, uh, that little red dot below the bandage is where she got me the first time. It didn't work. My wrist is sore. Okay, this is like 138. This is some kind of egg, potato, cheese, onion, breakfast casserole thing my mom made, and it's lunch. Then I'm just going to park it and watch some TV because it's been um, a very uncomfortable day. I did some Googling. The time is 2.27, and, well, strictly speaking, I could technically drink tonight. The best thing for me would be to not have any alcohol and just drink lots of water so that my body can filter out all this blessed contrast that they had to pump into my brain. 
I finished turn and um, I got, it was a good ending but also I almost cried I think I'm gonna rewatch uh, season 9 of Letter Kenny again it is what time is it, it is 7 27 because it's supposed to be a late night I got a cup of cocoa I've got cold case files on the TV I have got half a serving of pierogies because I am not trying to overdo it. I um I touched up my nails and they look horrible. Still don't look. Uh, green beans with a little bit of butter. And this is uh, pork with au jus sauce. That is not a store brand kind of thing. It's actually made from the broth. It's just after 10. I'm just about to put on an episode of What We Do in the Shadows because I saw a commercial for it while watching Letter Kenny yesterday and I thought it looked kind of neat. And my teenager has said that he needs to buy how many peeps? Like a thousand. A thousand peeps. <laughs> Since because... I can't throw up by drinking beer, I'm going to throw up by eating a thousand peeps. Why would you want to throw up? Because the next three days I'm going to be in the bathroom barfing my guts out. The only reason for that would be if you had hit ingested. Don't. If you have swallowed something that should not be in your person, I will take you to the emergency room and get you stomach pumped. So your Roblox character throws up all over the place. Basically. Uh, well, no, not really. I don't care about your Roblox character. You're you're not gonna be eating. It's only for a certain game. You're not gonna be eating that many peeps. Why not? I told you why. What if I buy them myself? You're not gonna purposely make yourself throw up. What? Thirty-four thousand troops in New, New York, York Harbor. Harbor. Okay, want to finish head? Hamilton? You said you did. I'm asking if you want to finish. Oh, in case I want to put that on. No, I'm going to watch this show. Give you 20 and... Me. Can I just give you 20 and uh, I take the... I'm so done with this. Don't bite yourself. I'm done with this. Just stop it with the money talk. I just I just want to watch this show. Too bad. Alright, let's, let's go. I am the master of shopping online. I am the master of shopping online. You guys make me so tired. You boys make me so tired. What the heck is that smell? Internet's running slow. I got about a episode and a half into what we do in the shadows. It's midnight. My neighbors are loud. They were honking horns about one minute ago. They're uh, shooting off enough fireworks. Some of them are landing on the roof. I think I heard guns going off earlier this evening. And I want to say it was firearms, not fireworks, about three or four times. So, um... I was just watching YouTube videos and things that too loud. It's 2 a.m. and the fireworks have stopped, thank goodness. And I'm really, really tired and the cat has decided to come in here and hang out with me because um, the rest of the house is a little bit cold tonight. So after putting my um, fitness tracker watch thing back on and ditching my um, cotton ball, I noticed I do have a little extra bruising where she got me the first time and I took it back off for a while to make sure that the swelling was just from the bruising and not because you know tissues in the area which had been subject to intravenous uh, contrast um, are not draining right so I'm fine it's just swollen a little bit I'm good I got a uh, workout app sort of thing, I want to say on the 30th, it was, seemed like it was real low-key and easy, but that first day was 
just a quick little six minute thing, lots of rests. And then today was almost twice that length of time and far more brutal. It's supposed to adjust to what you can do. I'm trying. I am trying to get a little bit of exercise. Maybe, maybe just today wasn't the day. Today really wasn't the day for a lot of things. Although, I'm glad that I tried out that new show, um, What We Do in the Shadows. And I think I'm definitely going to watch some more of that. I did recognize one of the actors from something I actually mentioned recently. That whole... I can hear you Clem Pandango thing. That's that was funny. Um if you haven't seen any promos for this, um it's on Hulu. I guess it's made by FX and it's a lot like watching The Office only if The Office were a bad vampire movie. And this is just the right time for it, too, because everybody is burnt out on vampires. Like, the whole idea of vampires is just falling flat on today's society, so I guess we're good. I'm not getting rid of my copy of Dracula just yet. I've got a little tiny pocket copy. I... Is your ear okay, bud? Okay. I'm glad the 2020 is over. I am ready to be completely done with this year. I want to sleep in, wake up in the morning, and regret the fact that a friend's apple flopping is not happening this year. I cross my fingers that that is going to allow everybody to be present at her apple flopping next year. And if you have no idea what that is, her family is Dutch. And they do this thing where they take slices of apple. Okay, like, think like a slice of apple, like a donut, right? And they batter it, and they deep fry it. And then they toss some powdered sugar on it. And it's so good, it's like apple fritters. Only you don't have to try to wedge a giant, like, huge pastry in your face to eat them. It's amazing. And she's just got this huge block of time every year on the 1st of January where people can just show up at her house and just come get some freaking apple flaps. It's awesome. I am so tired. You melted? The cat has gotten warm enough to melt, so I guess we're good. I'm going to try not to kick him. I can't promise anything, though. But yeah, I am done with the day, with the month, with the year. I'm good. And you know what? I, um, I'm really glad the progress I've seen over the last six months. I'm really glad I was not part of the first wave of the condition that has plagued this year that that YouTube doesn't like the name of. I'm glad I'm still alive, kicking it, breathing, and um, I am very hopeful that we are going to come out of this very first chunk of the year. Every, everything settled down move forward in a productive fashion I'm crossing on my fingers it happens thanks for sharing my day with me